Kevin's eating out of a toilet. Look at that. <laughs> oh, gross. Too sour, huh? Watch out. Lactose left. What are you guys getting? Oh, we got gold. Gold mine. Gold? Ooh, gold what? Gold nugget gold gum. Gold nugget gum. How do you like them? Are they good? What do they taste like? Gum. Does it taste like Just gold? like gum, gum flavor? Just like your traditional bubble gum. So welcome adventurers. We are up in Canada with the boys. This is Nathaniel, you know Nathaniel. This is Damien Hello. and Gavin. Those are my cousin Shauna's sons. And then of course you know the mama. Hi. So we are here to, well, for one, they've never really been to Canada. The boys wanted to check it out. And, well, Nathaniel did. I don't know about the other two, but they'll enjoy it whether they like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin just knew we were doing a YouTube video. So right, okay. Gavin was excited about doing a YouTube video. What we decided we're gonna do while we're here in Vancouver is, it's kind of obvious, we wanna do something that's kid friendly. Today we're gonna go to Science World and maybe even hit a cat cafe. It's a cafe Ooh. where they have cats and so the boys can pet the cats, and mom and I can get some coffee. <laughs> and maybe we'll get some food and ice cream, I'm not sure, we'll find some places that'll be fun for all of us. How old are our boys? Oh, how old are you guys? I'm Twelve. seven. I'm seven. Say it, say it in seven. order. Twelve. Ten. All right, and how old are you, mom? <laughs> Retired. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of a range of guys, and, and I think that what we're gonna find to do in the next couple days will be fun for all of them. Let's go have fun in Canada! Woo Woo Science World! Science, Science World! Tell us, world, let's hopefully we can find parking. Okay, so we're at Science World. There's a part of it, which is a ball. Here's Aunt Sharon. Hi. Here's Damien. Yep. Here's Daniel. You don't have to show all this again. Okay, talk to about how excited you are being in Canada at Science World. Science World, I think, is the best, and I haven't been there yet. Tell him you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, his name's not Gavin. Unfortunately, it's hungry. And what's that on your face, Gavin? It's blackberry juice. Hungry. So the only thing that they have here for food is fast food. So we've got burgers, Nathaniel got chicken tenders. So there's all kinds of burgers and chicken tenders and stuff. And then I got a blueberry milkshake, so that looks good. It looks like there's not an actual restaurant, it's more of a fast food place. But we're all so hungry that we're eating now. And we're gonna go then have fun. Nathaniel and Damien already found, what do you guys find? Oh, there's an optical illusion and we stared at it for 20 seconds. There was a little picture of clouds next to it. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. So they're excited about going and checking out the optical illusions a little more. And then we're gonna go see a video super dogs, super power dogs or something like that. At the TELUS. It's kinda like IMAX in a sense, I think. This is a mirror. Okay. You can see it. You can see it. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. When you put it in, it's a rabbit. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see this next one. Whoa! Oh, what is this? Arrow! Oh, that's a velociraptor. What's this one? Yeah. Arrow! I can't tell what that one is. Hearts. Hearts. Really? Hearts? Yeah. Let me look. Oh! Hearts! Say hi! Hi! We are here in the Omni Max Theater. We're gonna watch. Yes, yeah, it's a giant globe. We're gonna watch. What are we gonna watch? Why are you like super dogs? Yeah. Are you excited? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> you ready? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Auntie Grandma's scared. Why are you scared? I don't know. She's silly, isn't she? Hi. <laughs>
Um, All right, so we're still here at Science World. It is 520. 520. We're closes exhausted. At, yeah, it closes at 6, and we um, we're so happy it's closing soon. But I will tell you, if you want a great place to take kids, every all day kid, long. yes, all day long, if you need somewhere to wear them out and spend the whole day in Vancouver, this Science World is pretty amazing, and all the everything is interactive. Everything also is uh, educational based, so there's a lot they're learning as well. There's something for every kid because all the three kids we have are interested in completely different things. And so, it's like so Nathaniel's funny. really into puzzles, and there's a whole floor about puzzles. Damien kind of likes to wander around. He really got into like there was this mirror thing he was interested in. He liked the magnetic stuff. And then what about Gavin? Gavin just likes anything that's really fast and happens right away. His attention span is so... He's seven. So any game that, that that went too long or if he had to stand in line, he'd run off to something else. His attention span... There were a lot of things for him to do. Yeah? Yeah, and the nice thing is that there are so many things to do here that even though it's crowded, the kids get a chance to play on a lot of things. I, I ran over and got Nathaniel at one point, and he's sweaty because he's been running around and having so much fun. So... Honestly, Science World is a place to take your kids. It's great. And I highly, highly recommend it. It's completely worth the money. We went and watched the mo the show, and that was fun, too. And there's also other shows, too. They have quite a few. They, they have, have a science food. theater. They have a, a stage. What were you going to say? Yeah, they have a lot of free shows. They also have some that you pay a little extra for. So it's, it's fabulous. Yeah. There's a lot you can do here. We are having a blast. Oh, look who it is. Hello. Hello. Are you having fun? It's pretty fun. I like it. Yeah, you've been here quite a while. Are you getting tired of it or are you just getting tired? Uh, I don't know. I'm actually really liking this. What was your favorite thing? Hmm. That's a tough one. Everything was pretty good. Everything. What were your favorite type things? The mirror maze. Damien was really fast at the mirror maze too. You did good. You did good. I, there was a kid in front of me that hit his head so hard against the mirror, he's crying oh, as mom. That's what I was afraid of. That's why I made I the kids the man, go first. I told <laughs> Gavin, touch the mirror with your hand, not your head. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, so we are going to let everybody play out there and their, the rest of the time till six o'clock. And then maybe, I told Nathaniel we'll go get some ice cream. So Ooh. we'll probably go get some ice cream. Ooh, I like you ice cream. You want ice cream? Um, I'm a kid. Of course you <laughs> <laughs> That's like, that Was that a duh? <laughs> He liked the water thing too, so he really likes water a lot. Okay, so what was your favorite thing to do today? The puzzles. The, what, the what? The puzzles. <laughs> Why? Because I like puzzles. So that's good. Three. The cat. Okay, so where do you want to go now? Cat cafe. What's at the cat cafe? Cats and cats <laughs> and maybe coffee. Cats. Yeah. It's the a, important part is the cats. For our parking. Yeah, cats are lazy like me. Four hours? How long have we been here? I don't know. The important part is the cats. Oh, yes. Cats are lazy like me. So we're going to go check out this place called Cat Fe. C-A-T-F-E. Cat Fe, like a cafe, but it has cats. And apparently you can adopt them. We won't be doing that, but we will be checking out the cats. And the boys are excited about go, going to pet some, some kitties. Cats! Hello! Cats. So it looks like it's inside this mall place, International Village. Okay, we got it. Can't be, we're not gonna be doing any screaming in there. Okay. So we don't scare the cats. Do not hold the door open. So apparently, Cat Cafe, they only take reservations. It's not like one of those places, it's not like a regular cafe where you go in there, you can play with some cats and drink coffee. It's, uh, they have specific times where they let people in. So, we're, the boys are bummed. Nathaniel's pissed off at me, and I don't know why, but it's not like I did it on purpose. So, I'm going to call tomorrow. Nathaniel, are you listening to this? I'm going to call tomorrow at 10.15 tomorrow morning, and we'll get reservations for tomorrow. And so we will be going to the cat fay tomorrow. We'll have reservations, so there will be no other option. We are going to see cats tomorrow. And we're going to drink tea or coffee and eat sweets and scones with cats. Now I'm going to go smother their cat. Because I'm sad that I didn't get to see any other cat. Don't smother my cat. You're going to smother your cat. You're going to give love to my cat. We're going to 
Okay, let's go food. We're gonna eat some food. I think that might be necessary. Ice cream. And then we'll have ice cream. Okay, so a good idea when you have little ones like this with you is find a place that has a food court. Nathaniel really wants pho or he wants sushi and the other boys won't eat that. So a good place to go is a food court so that you can, you know, satisfy all the different tastes. All right, so what'd you guys get? Tacos. Tacos. You like tacos? Gavin, like tacos? There's Nathaniel's sushi. Looks good. You excited? Does it taste good? And Amy got a sushi burrito. I have never had a sushi burrito before. I'm super excited. This one's chashu, romp, chashu pork with egg and some other good stuff in there. So I want a little bit of crab, mayonnaise. Oh yeah. All right, so we ate. And we are exhausted, at least mom and I are. And, but the boys have more energy still. We decided, you know what, one last thing we gotta do before we head back and get in that line to go across the border is uh, get some ice cream. So we're gonna go to this place called Ernest Ice Cream. There's a couple of them here in Vancouver. I've never been to them. They got really good reviews. And we're excited about getting some ice cream and then heading back on the road and heading home. We'll be back in Vancouver tomorrow. There's a, we're gonna go to Granville Island. They have like a carnival going on there tomorrow. So that should be fun. And the cat place. Oh, we have to go to the cat cafe. So tomorrow will be a, will be a good day. Hopefully we'll have a little more energy. Cause man, these boys are wearing us out. <laughs> Enjoying his ice cream. Okay, so how did we like Ernest ice cream? Pretty good. Very delicious. What? Damien, you liked it? What kind did you get? I got cookies and cream. He got cookies and cream. And Nathaniel, what'd you get? I got salt and caramel and toasted marshmallow. It was one better. Uh, they were okay. He said he didn't really like the salted oh, caramel. Yeah. Um, and he got two scoops and that was too much. But I love the toasted marshmallow. That's what I got. And Gavin got the cookies and cream and he loved that. And actually, I, I tasted a little bit of his. Was it was really good. So mom didn't, wasn't feeling the ice cream, but it was all wonderful, delicious. I recommend Ernest ice cream. Day two. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. And what are we doing today? Cat Fae. So we got our reservations for the Cat Fae at- Again. Yes, well this time we actually have reservations. So we're gonna go play with the kitties. And then after that, we're gonna head over to Granville Island. They have some stuff going on there for kids today. Maybe a giant uh, donut. Maybe a giant donut, and we're hoping to go on an aqua bus. We think that would be fun too. So, come with Kid us. Day. All the pieces. Okay, move aside. You get chocolate. Pretty little long haired baby what kitten. What was the name of it? I don't remember. Didn't have oh, name Archie yet. was a good one. I like Archie. Archie was the big orange cat. He was the, huge. He was a big cat. I like Galaxy. But he loved attention. And Damien liked Galaxy. He was white and brown. Gavin liked the Gavin twins. Gavin liked the kittens. The boy and girl. Did you like the kittens? Gavin's not feeling so good now. You were fine earlier. What happened? I think Gavin's, Gavin's mad. Upset. He wanted to adopt. He wants to adopt a cat. So, Shauna. 
That's on you. <laughs> I guess she give you a little bit of information. Uh, the cat cafe, it is $10 Canadian to go into the actual cafe to play with the cats and to interact with the cats. They are all up for adoption. A lot of these ones, the adoption was pending on them already. And then of course you can always get, you know, a latte, hot chocolate. The boys all got hot chocolate. They had some desserts and stuff and, and uh, things that we could eat and try. So we got a few snacks and drinks and then we went inside and got to pet all the cats. Just know that there is a admission charge when you go to get to play with the cats and you need to make reservations. Yes. So, but we had a good time. We spent an hour in there. They recommend if you want to really spend a lot of time petting the cats to go as early in the morning as you can because in the afternoon they get a little sleepy. A lot of them were taking naps. And yeah, a lot of them were taking naps. Then they start stimulating them, giving them cat nap, giving them treats. a treat. So then some of the cats would get up and run around, but yeah. they were tired. All right, here we are in Granville Island, hoping we can find parking, but in the meantime, this is the kids' market. They have a little carnival thing going on. They have like games and whatnot going on. There's a licorice parlor right here, and we're hoping that we'll find parking so we can come check it out. And that goes until four today. So when you can, make sure you look online to see what kind of activities and events are going on in the area you're going to. I use Facebook a lot because Facebook events, you know, if I'm going to a specific area, I'll look and see what kind of events are happening that weekend. And oftentimes you'll find fun things, especially kid-friendly things, because uh, people are always trying to find different things for their kids to go to. So uh, check things out like this. We found parking! Woohoo! So we're here at Granville Island. We're gonna go over to Pride. The kid. Yes, it is Pride Week here in Vancouver. And Nathaniel got a cute little Pride button over at the cafe. And we're gonna go over to the, the kids, kids market. market. And because there's a carnival going on there and it looks like a whole bunch of fun little stores there. So we're gonna go check that out. And if you remember Nathaniel's clam chowder video, I'm gonna link that up here so you can go check out Nathaniel's clam chowder video when we did our clam chowder crawl. That's where he got that amazing shirt. Different stations. Yeah, little stations. There was a ticket booth over there, it looked like. Without turtles, I am nothing. No turtles? Oh, there's a turtle right there. Oh, yeah, little turtle. <laughs> there's our boys. Check things out. So it's nice and relaxing and peaceful here with no kids around. <laughs> One of them's upstairs, two are downstairs, and we gave them some money. <laughs> yeah. Told them to spend it with care. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the little ones in a three-story play area, and then the people take my phone number, so they can't come out until the parents come to get them. So. Well, that's great. Yeah. That's really good. So he's in there having fun. I already saw him running around playing, having a good time. He meets friends easily. He's very friendly. And he needs to run out his energy. <laughs> yeah. And then the two older ones, we gave them a little bit of money and told them they had to share it. So they're gonna. We'll see how they figure that out. <laughs> So Damien got a trick, what you, for, well first you got the trick pen yeah, that, that electrocutes pen? your finger when you touch it, when you touch this. Yeah. And then he runs over and he throws ink on my dress and I was like, holy crap, what did you do that for? And it was blue and it turns out it was disappearing ink. So funny. Him and Nathaniel have been having fun at the, the joke shop, I guess, huh? Nathaniel got peed on. What did he get peed on by? So there's a little figure, it had pants, and you would pull down the pants and water would squirt out at you from um, the man's thing. Oh, and he got peed on by it? Yeah. Oh, that's insane. That's pretty cool. much, but I wasn't the one who pulled down the pants. <laughs> Boba. Boba tea here at a little bar. Just 
sitting, enjoying, getting a little bit of a break between. Not from the noise. <laughs> no, it's still loud. We have noise. But, you know, nice cold boba. It's a pretty hot day here, so it's really yeah. nice. We stopped off at a little candy store, which actually was the licorice parlor. And actually, the prices, considering everything here is really overpriced, that place, the prices were pretty decent. So if you want to get candies and fun stuff, I think the licorice parlor is a good place to stop. And all the boys found something they liked. And I like licorice, so. If you're into licorice, licorice is something that you find a lot more here up in Canada than you do in the US, so this is a good place to stock up. Kid-friendly Vancouver, did you guys like Vancouver? Yeah, yeah. so did much you, fun. What guys you, would you like the best? Prank store. The prank store? What'd you like the best, Damien? Of all the things we did. Pranking. You guys like the prank store the best? Yeah. Gavin? Gavin is not happy, but yeah, we pranked him. We had a good time from the science world to the cafe to now Granville Island. We did a lot of things this weekend. We are exhausted, but if you liked this video, what are you guys gonna do? Subscribe and follow my Twitter at Nall and my W L. Hit notification bell so that you know when the next video comes out. Yes. And make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Oh, that's right. Like, so, like, there like. are lots of things, fun things to do if you have kids and you want to spend this, some time in Vancouver. And hopefully you enjoyed the video and come back and see one of our other videos. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Bye. And there's Gavin. <laughs> we'll take that one home. <laughs>